Hello everyone, this is Balu. Welcome to my channel Silke. Here comes with the new update that is CCMD 2023 website is launched. You can see here. I am searching CCMD 2023 in the Google and you can see the website of CCMD 2023 which is launched by NIT Hamirpur. I am clicking on it. Here you can see CCMD 2023 to be updated soon. Okay, soon they are going to update the information regarding CCMD 2023 like uh, whatever the information brochure may be and also all other details and also the maybe undertakings all those things they are going to update soon okay and last year it was started at uh, almost May 20 this year also they are going to start this CCMT 2023 on or before May 20 okay and coming to the other information details I want to convey you before before you are going to participate in the CCMT 2023 counseling the information I am going to share now is very very important so please watch the video till the end so that you can get the important information and also if you are not subscribed to my channel till now please subscribe my channel and also click on the bell icon so that you can get the time to time updates okay let's go through the important information now I am going to share the whatever the prerequisites of CCMT 2023 counseling okay, I am going to share now here you can see this is the eligibility requirements for CCMT 2023 counseling which means I have taken this information from CCMT 2022 information brochure the information whatever may be remains constant it, it may not change much so that's why I am taking this information because after opening of the counseling procedure you may not have enough time to know this information that's why I am telling now only here you can see the information must have a gate score of the year 2020 okay I am striking this now it will come as 2021, 22 and 2023 it will become and also here you can see the minimum CGPA see if you have valid gate score also without this minimum CGPA you can't apply for CCMT counseling here you can see 6.5 CGPA or 60% for general or OBC or EWS candidates and coming to the other cash like SC, ST, PWD it is 6 GPA or 55% must be required if you don't have that uh, eligibility criteria then you are not allowed to apply for CCMT 2023 council and you can see here the above mentioned CGPA percentage should be awarded by a recognized university or institute and also and they are clearly saying that conversion from CGPA to percentage or vice versa given by an individual or institute university will not be allowed that means if your degree is in CGPA then they will consider CGPA only if your degree certificate is in percentage they will consider percentage only if both CGPA and percentage both are given in your degree certificate then they are going to consider CGPA only okay this thing you have to keep in mind Next, coming to the other important thing, these are the documents which are you are required to upload in the CCMC website while applying. Here you can see for document for proof of date of birth. Okay, you can uh, upload anything like which have valid date of birth that includes mark sheet or photo ID like other card or also PAN, driving license, anything which have the that date of birth on that certificate you can upload it. Next, coming to the photo ID proof photo id proof is nothing but you can upload other card or voter id or pan anything next coming to the mark sheet of class 12 you can you have to upload the class 12 mark sheet next grade or mark sheets of qualifying examination for all semesters okay if you are completed the btec already and you got all the semester certificates then you have to upload all the mark sheets of your semesters then next thing it is also mentioned clearly degree or provision certificate for example if your degree is avoided that means you have written all the exams but your result is yet to come and the CCMT 2023 counseling is already started then what should you do this is the important thing I have to tell you because many of the students will get this doubt okay you have to do nothing that is you have to upload provisional or course completion certificate remember this this is very very important course completion certificate course completion certificate will tell you that 
on this day the student is going to complete his degree it will mention like he already wrote his exams the results are yet to come and he will complete his degree on particular date that is nothing but the course completion certificate if you go and ask your institute uh, academic section they will definitely give the certificate you have to apply for it in every college they will provide it if your results are yet to come then you have to upload this if you have all that semester certificates and also degree certificate then you can upload those things okay that thing i have to tell and also if they are asked for mark sheets of all qualifying examination you have to upload whatever the semester grade sheets you have if your results are waiting up to what semester do you have certificates up to that you can upload it next gate score card 2021 22 or 2023 next this is also one important thing you have to upload cash certificate that is sc st obc ncl ews any certificate you have to upload if based on your category and here you can see the one important thing in case of obc non cream layer ews category the certificate must be issued on or after april 1 2022 this is previous year information brochure that's why here it is 2022 here you can expect 2023 nothing more will change from current uh, information brochure which is going to be released that means you have to apply that obc ncl after april 1st 2023 for example if you think uh, if i apply obc ncl it will take at least one month then at that time if the certificate is not yet to be released then you apply now itself that's why i am making this video so so that you can get the clear idea regarding whatever the certificates it is required so please apply now itself because it is already may month so you can apply now easily and you can get the certificate and after the ccmt portal is open it will be free for you so that you can cannot face more issues okay and also for example if you are failed to upload this obc non cream layer certificate after april 1st 2023 also then you will be required to upload undertaking which is given by the ccmt 2023 website okay they will provide the undertakings so that you can fill the undertaking and you can sign on it and you can upload it. this thing i have to say okay okay this is the important things and coming to the this uh, registration fees and also the seat acceptance fees this is also one of the important thing because many of the people don't know about the whatever the fees they have to pay see if you are going to participate in the ccmt 2023 at least you should have more than 50000 rupees in your hand okay this thing you have to remember if you get seat if you don't get seat then it's not a thing you, you don't have to pay any money but if you get seat in any round then you have to pay the money and also if you want to participate in the further rounds and so that you are fixed that i i will if i get seat i will do mtech then please keep money in your hand so that you can participate actively and you can join the mtech course in any nit see here 3000 rupees is the registration fee for general ews obc candidates that means this is a non refundable amount remember this 3000 rupees is non refundable and also for sc st pw it is 2500 this is a registration fee this amount you have to deposit and you have to apply for ccmt without this registration fee you can't apply and also many of the students are apply asking the doubt regarding i have two gate papers what can i do you have to apply two different applications for example if you have in uh, electrical engineering paper and ec paper i want to give this two paper prts in the ccmt then you have to apply for two different applications remember this thing next in between any of the rounds it may be normal round okay then it may be after the special round also if you get seat then definitely you have to pay this seat acceptance fee so that your seat should be retained if you don't pay this amount then your seat will be automatically cancelled remember this thing okay here 30000 rupees for general ews obc in normal rounds if you get the seat you have to pay this seat acceptance fee okay this is given in ccmp 2022 it will not vary much this year also next 10000 rupees for sc st pw students okay overall almost 50000 rupees may be i am thinking that a below 50000 rupees will be required for sc st pw candidates and coming to the general ews obc candidates it should be greater than 50000 rupees must be required if you want to get seat in nid regarding any course also it, based on nid to nid it will vary but i am telling approximate amount should be there in your hand so that you can actively participate in ccmt 2023 counseling 
okay this is the information which i have to tell before ccmt 2023 counseling is going to commence okay thank you for watching this video okay i am giving a lot of information so please encourage my channel and also subscribe my channel so that you can get the time to time updates thank you